basically we have just found, uh, done a fact finding. We have put forth the facts that this government has failed on. Fact number one, there is no safety for women. The crime rates are alarming and it is a national shame that women are not safe in this state and that they can't step out today anywhere in, in, uh, with the surety that we will be safe. Second, the child marriage record. That is of a international shame that we cannot even protect our children. Marriage is an adult act and then you get children married and that shows absolute irresponsibility of the ruling government. Literacy rates. So much for this man talking about giving free education, KG to PG and all these lovely sounding dialogues which don't work. 46% of women today in Telangana state still are thumb impression people. And they are exploited on every front because they cannot read. And I think the chief minister should hang his head in shame. The rising prices of essential commodities has crippled us as housewives. And the unemployment rate is so alarming that we who worked in three, four homes, we have worked sweeping, swabbing, washing dishes to educate our children. After all that, if my child even has a BA degree, double MA degree, we don't get a job. And so these are crippling factors as well as the collapsing houses which they have built, these double bedrooms which they promised us, which would have saved us a lot of rental and other costs. None of that is happening. So given all these factors, we have asked the chief minister, and there's no representation in the cabinet also. In his first cabinet, there was nothing. And after we started talking about it, they reluctantly brought in two women. And on top of that, today, if you see in their government advisory positions and all, there are no women. They think women are less. It's a very misogynist, patriarchal uh, attitude towards women where they think women are less than all these brilliant brains put together, so-called. So the result is women across the state have unifi unified and we are not going to vote for TRS, not at all.